Optekes is national funding agency for technology and innovation in Finland. Our purpose is to create new growth companies and new businesses. We see energy and environment areas as a very promising area for new business opportunities. The TECES fuel cell program facilitates the development of successful fuel cell technologies and services. A total budget of 140 million euros has been earmarked for the seven years program period. The program aims to speed the development and application of innovative fuel cell technologies. So far 30 of the program's projects have been successfully completed and more projects are still receiving funding. More than 60 companies are involved in the program. The program's focus areas include stationary fuel cell applications, fuel cell power modules for utility vehicles and portable low-power solutions. Demo 2013 is an international fuel cell demonstration project that will present the results of the TECES fuel cell program in Helsinki, Finland. This unique demonstration facility for fuel cell solutions and applications will be located in the new port facilities at Vorsari, on the outskirts of Helsinki. Demo 2013 will feature all kinds of fuel cell applications from stationary solutions to utility vehicles, working machines and portable low-power applications. Infrastructure will include a hydrogen fueling station. Helsinki's new port is an ideal location for pioneering clean energy technologies. Its location within the city means that noise pollution and emissions should be minimized. Demo gives companies a chance to test and market their products in a real working environment. It also enables producers to meet potential partners including other product developers as well as end users. This large-scale demonstration of fuel cells in action will also increase public awareness of the benefits of fuel cell technologies by providing evidence of their safety, reliability and effectiveness. VTT is currently field testing a prototype large-scale solid oxide fuel cell, SOFC, that will provide efficient, cheap grid power from natural gas and biogas. The VTT system is unique in that it uses a single 10 kW planar soft stack to produce electricity for a typical apartment block. This is the first time a 10 kW power class planar soft fuel stack has been operated as part of a complete fuel cell system. Solid oxide fuel cell technology is a very efficient, clean way to produce electricity. My personal opinion is that uh, there will be commercial product in the market somewhere around between 2015-2020. Solutions on show will include stationary applications such as a 50 kW solid oxide fuel cell system based power plant set up by Wurzilla to feed electricity into the grid and heat to the district heating net. The target of the Wurzilla fuel cell development program is to commercialize fuel cell products for distributed generation applications and marine auxiliary power applications. 20 kW soft power plant in Vasa by Wartsila exceeded successful 3500 hours operating time. The transportation section will feature mobile working machines including hybridized straddle carriers and forklifts based on PEM fuel cell systems and the technology test platform. A hybridized electric straddle carrier by CargoTech Finland is one example of moving towards fuel cell powered versions of heavy working machines. We are like uh, equipment uh, manufacturers so, so we are looking at the bigger picture. That means like uh, the complete drive system, what means like uh, electric drive, electric hybrid drive system. And, and then the fuel cell could be like the primary energy source as, as a whole. PEM fuel cell systems up to 16 kW scale have been constructed as part of a hybrid system field demonstration and research platform on forklift application by VTT. Hydrocell will demonstrate low power and portable fuel cells for boats and leisure applications. We have developed a special unique fuel cell product which is based on alkaline gel technology. We also supply EFOI direct methanol fuel cells for cold environmental use and we also produce metal hydride, hydrogen storages. Uh, metal hydride storages are absolutely the most safe way to use and store hydrogen. The demonstration site's infrastructure will include a hydrogen fueling station supplied by Voikoski.
A consortium led by Orbu Academy University will demonstrate its small biofuel cells, which can be fitted with radio frequency identification (RFID) system and applied to medical applications. Biobattery is essentially a biofuel cell, which means that instead of metallic catalysts, it uses renewable catalysts to catalyze the fuel oxidation reactions and the oxygen reduction reactions which power this fuel cell. The reason why we call it a biobattery rather than a biofuel cell comes simply from the fact that instead of having a continuous feed of fuel into the system like in a traditional fuel cell, we preload the fuel during manufacturing. So this is a device for single use only and not for continuous operation. Biobattery can run a, a small digital display, for instance, in a thermometer, uh, but it can also run uh, several other disposable uh, printed electronic applications. The fuel, which in our case is glucose, is being oxidized by the enzyme, the anodic enzyme, and uh, then the electrons travel through the outside circuit over to the cathode side, where another enzyme is reducing oxygen from air to produce water and electricity. We have been the first ones who have printed the biobattery. So the idea here is that this uh, power source, the biobattery, is based on, on a layered structure. And in this structure we have uh, printed the enzymatic catalysts. And then also otherwise uh, the layers, uh, these active layers, are combined in such a way that the whole power source is mass producible and uh, this mass producibility uh, enables the manufacturing uh, in very cost effective way. The material costs are about a few euro cents per one power source. At the moment uh, uh, we are still looking for new partners, uh, now getting all kind of uh, applications in action in one real area. We can uh, get visibility and trace public awareness.